Well, it's raining in Oklahoma again. I uh, guess it's a blessing. It is a blessing. Rain's always a blessing. But anyway, I'm at the house and thought about taking with my M1 Garand. It's, uh, as your serial numbers, you can tell, it's probably, it was made a little post-war thing. She's in perfect condition. I mean, uh, these things are hard to sight in. So you sight that front sight, and ah, uh, you can't tell. I'm not gonna get around to it. But right there is the uh, basic the me mechanism you do to uh, set how powerful the uh, ejection is, so that when you uh, when you fire this thing, it'll have enough go-go uh, to kick that thing back, but not more than what you need. And this is actually a clip. And uh, that thing goes down like that. And you got to be careful the way you install this or you'll get that, what they call that grand thumb, because it will snap back on you and completely transform the way that thumb looks. But long story short, uh, I'll let that thing forward. You saw that, imagine it going against your thumb and here's the pull on that trigger. What's oh, crisp. They made this, it's a heavy. But uh, like I said, I haven't got it sighted in as well as I could. This isn't made for optics. It's made for irons. And uh, fun to shoot. But uh, it just goes with that one. My Mosin that's in another room. And I had one of those Japanese rifles. But boy, they are so poorly made. I, every time I pull the trigger on one, I expect it to explode. Never seen such anything so cheaply made. But this thing's solid. It's made by Springfield, and like I said, it's a it's a good weapon. You'd literally beat somebody to death with it if you needed to.